Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, in continuation with your main topic, that is algebraic fractions. What we are going to discuss today is addition and subtractions of two algebraic fractions. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, you'll be able to perform addition and you'll also be able to perform subtractions of two algebraic fractions. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as you join your favorite segment of the lesson today, my dear student, the number that I'm going to give you as another interesting, another amazing number is 62. 62 is so unique, so special. I'll tell you what is unique about this very number after completing my lesson today, so don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let us learn the rule. It is this rule that will tell us what we need to do from step number one to the last step. Uh, all the procedures required in order to do the additional subtractions of the algebraic fractions successively. So rule number one says uh, you find the LCM of the denominators. That is the two fractions you are either adding or the two fractions you are subtracting. There are denominators. That is the polynomial denominators you have. There find the LCM. If you do that, you now move to the next step. Uh, next step says you add if you are asked to add, or you subtract if you are asked to subtract the two fractions using LCM as your new denominator. Then finally, you just simplify the resulting fractions. That is, after adding or after subtracting, then the resulting fractions, if you can simplify it further, you now simplify it. This is what we needed to do in order to do the addition and the subtractions of two algebraic fractions successively. Let's just move and take examples. Example number one, you asked to simplify this fraction plus this fraction. That is uh, 1 over x squared minus 9. This is the very first fraction. Then you have to add it with another fraction, which is uh, 2 over x squared plus 3x. Solution to this very problem, copying the given tax, that is uh, 1 over x squared minus 9 as the very first fraction. To be added with the second fraction, 2 over x squared plus 3x. So remember rule number 1 says uh, you find the LCM of these denominators. My denominators will now be x squared minus 9 and uh, x squared plus 3x, these are the two denominators. So I need to find the LCM of these polynomial denominators. In doing that, I have to I have to factorize each and every denominator completely. So I can see my first denominator is factorizable. My second denominator also is factorizable. So let me just attempt to do the factorization that will enable me to get the LCM. So factoring this is what I'm going to do next. So I'll just copy the numerators because they are not factorizable. So I'll now just factor this denominator. So starting with the very first denominator, x squared minus 9, this 9 can be 3 raised to the power of 2. So this in the end will now be x squared minus 3 squared, which I will now apply difference of 2 squares to factorize it. And if that is done correctly, you now have x plus 3 multiplied by the second bracket x minus 3. This is the factorization of x squared minus 9. So I move to the second denominator. The second denominator says x squared plus 3x, in which you can divide this to two times by x each. So x outside the bracket, then result will now be inside the bracket, that is after this division. X squared divided by X gives you X, and the 3X divided by this X will now give you positive 3. So this is the factorization of the two denominators. So I look at the factors there. I will now write the LCM. Remember, the LCM is now the product of the different, uh, different factors that appear in the denominators. So I have X plus 3, X minus 3, and X. This X plus 3, I have another one exactly similar. So let me write the LCM. So the LCM will now be x times x plus 3. That is in x plus 3 in the bracket times another bracket containing x minus 3. This would now be the LCM. That is the product of the different uh, factors that appear in your denominators. I will now use this denominator to, to divide this my LCM. 
the answer then times this numerator. This is what we usually do while adding the two fractions. So I'm now going to set this LCM divided by this denominator. Look at it. So the LCM divided by these two brackets. You can see the two brackets will now cancel. These two brackets will be left with this x. Then this x times the numerator, which is 1. So I'm going to have uh, 1 times x. Then I'll copy my addition sign. Then I'll take the next denominator. I'm now using this denominator to divide this very LCM. So I've now set this LCM divided by this denominator. You can see x plus 3 will cancel x plus 3. x will cancel x will be left with this second bracket x minus 3. Then this x minus 3 multiplied by the numerator which is 2. So you are going to have 2 times x minus 3. So I'll continue. So I'll do the multiplication that I have there at the numerator level. That is 1 times x and 2 times this very bracket. So if that is done correctly, you now have 1 times x to give you this x. And 2 times this bracket, that is 2 times x is 2x. 2 times minus 3 gives you minus 6. We continue. So what remains is to now simplify this resulting fraction. The simplification, what I can do here is to collect like a term C at the numerator level. x plus 2x gives me 3x. Then I'm going to have... 3x minus 6 all over my LCM, which is x into x plus 3 into x minus 3. This will now be the final result. That is, the addition of these two fractions will give you this, uh, this very algebraic fraction. Let's just move and take another example. Example number 2, you ask to simplify this very fraction minus this algebraic fraction. So the very first one is 1 over x squared minus 1. This fraction remove another fraction which is 2 over x plus 1 whole squared. Solution to this very problem. Copy in the given task that is 1 over x squared minus 1. This is the very first fraction. Minus the second fraction which is 2 over x plus 1 in the bracket and the bracket rest to the power of 2. So what the rule says, uh, we have to find the LCM, and in attempt to find the LCM, I have to factorize uh, each and every denominator completely. So look at my first denominator, x squared minus 1 is factorizable. The second denominator, x plus 1, is just to expand this. So let me do that. So I'm going to have uh, 1 over, I'm now trying to factor this first denominator. Remember, 1 can be written 1 square, so you now have x square minus 1 square, which you apply difference of 2 squares to factorize this. And if that is done correctly, you now have x plus 1 into x minus 1. I copied the second denominator already because that is just an expansion, which is not needed here. So I'll continue. So to find the LCM, I will now write the different uh, possible factors. I will now multiply them from these denominators. I have x plus 1. This is x minus 1. But in the second denominator, I have x plus 1 whole squared. So I'm going to take uh, this one. I will now remove. I will now, I'm now going to use this x plus 1 because this one has the highest power. So the LCM is now going to be x plus 1 squared times uh, x minus 1. These are the different uh, factors which the multiplications give me the LCM. So I'm now going to divide this LCM by each and every of these denominators. That result multiplied by the numerator there. So I'm now going to say the LCM divided by this denominator. And this denominator says x plus 1 into x minus 1. You can see x minus 1 will cancel this x minus 1. And uh, x plus 1 whole squared divided by x plus 1. You now have uh, just 1 x plus 1. That resulted times 1 there. So I'm going to have 1 times x plus 1. Then I copy your subtraction sign there. Then I will now take the second denominator. Use it to divide the LCM. You can see this LCM divided by x plus 1 whole squared. You see x plus 1 whole squared will now cancel this x plus 1 whole squared. You'll be left with uh, the second bracket containing x minus 1. 
and that bracket times the denominator there. So you now have two times bracket x minus one. So I'll continue. So what I'm going to do next is to perform the multiplications there at the numerator level. That is one times this bracket and minus two times this bracket. Let me do that. If that is done correctly, you now have one times x give you x one times one is one. So you are going to have x plus one. And the second multiplication that is minus two times x gives you minus two. Minus two times minus one gives you positive two. So you are going to have uh, minus two x plus two. So what it remains is to simplify this. And what I can do there is collect like terms. So x and minus two x are alike. And this constant numbers one and two that also are like. Uh, so collecting like terms gives me three minus x. That is x minus 2x gives you this minus x, while 1 plus 2 gives you this 3. Then I copied my denominator. This is now the final result of this very subtraction. So let us just move and take one more example. Example number 3 says simplify 2 over x plus 3 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x squared minus x. Solution to this very problem. Copying the given task, uh, what we now do, you can see you have addition and subtractions to be done here. You have three fractions, the very first fraction add to the second, the result minus the third fraction, which we can do all at once. So what I'm going to do is to find the LCM of the denominators. And to do that, I have to factorize each and every denominator that is factorizable. What is factorizable here is this third fraction, it is denominated to x squared minus x. But all others are not factorizable. Let me just copy them. Then it is only that denominator of my third fraction that I would like to factorize now. So look at this x squared and minus x. The two terms can be divided each by x. So if x is the common factor, after dividing x squared by x, I'll have 1x. And uh, minus x divided by x give me minus 1. So I'm going to have the factorization x into x minus 1. This is the factorization of x squared minus x. So I'll now find the LCM. Remember, the LCM will now be the product of the different factors, different highest factors of each of these denominators. I have x as one factor x minus 1 as another factor. This is x already, I have x exactly. And x minus 1, I have another x minus 1 exactly. So therefore, the product of different factors will now be x times x minus 1. That will be my LCM. Next, I'm going to do is to take uh, each and every denominator, use it to divide the LCM. The result after dividing times the numerator of that very fraction. So I'm now going to divide the x into x minus 1, that is my LCM, by this x. You can see x will cancel x, you now have x minus 1. Then that x minus 1 times the numerator, which is 2. So you now have 2 times x minus 1, that you copy this plus sign. Next is the second fraction, that is it is denominator. Use that denominator to divide the LCM. So x into x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. You can see x minus 1 will cancel, will be left with x. Then that x times the numerator, which is 3. So you now have 3 times x. You copied your subtraction sign there. Then you now take the third denominator. That is x into x minus 1. Use it to divide the LCM. So this LCM, x into x minus 1 divided by x into x minus 1. You can see x cancel x to have 1, x minus 1 cancel and x minus 1 to have 1. So you have 1 after division, then that 1 times the denominator, which is 3. So you now have 3 multiplied by 1. So you continue. So what you do next is to perform those multiplications there at the numerator level. So let me just copy my LCM. Then 2 times this bracket will now give you 2 times x, 2 times minus 1. That will give answer 2x minus 2. Next multiplication is 3 multiplied by x. That will give you 3x 
last multiplication is minus 3 multiplied by 1. That will give you minus 3. So what you now do next is to collect like terms. So 2x, 3x will give you 5x. Minus 2 and minus 3 will give you minus 5. So let me just write it. You now have 5x minus 5 all over. Copy the LCM that is x into x minus 1. But looking at my numerator, is factorizable because 5 can divide these two terms. And uh, after factoring, you now have 5 uh, into x minus 1. That is 5x divided by 5 will give you x. Minus 5 divided by 5 gives you this minus 1. Then you can see this bracket x minus 1 will cancel this x minus 1. So in the end, you now have uh, 5 over x. So you always check your final fraction. If you can simplify it further, do so. This is how we now add and how we subtract two algebraic fraction. With this, my dear student, I have come to the end of this very lesson. I hope with the few examples given, you'll be able to perform addition and you'll also be able to perform subtractions of two algebraic fractions. Thank you for your attention. And let me just move to the last segment. Mars is fun and explain what is interesting about it, the number 62. 62 is the only number whose cube consists of three digits, and those two three digits appear or occur twice, that is two times. Let's just find out the cube of 62. 62 times 62 times another 62. This is what you have as the result if you do it correctly. You're going to have 238,328. And what is interesting with this number 62 that is in it is cube. You can see 2, 3, and 8 as the three digits there. And 2, 3, and 8, both of them appear each two times. Look at 2, you have another 2 here. This is 3, this is another 3, this is 8, this is another 8. So 62 is the only number that if you are to find it is cube. That, that very cube will now contain three different digits to form that very number. And those three digits now appear each one two times exactly. It is only this 62. You can try other numbers and find out whether they are exactly like this. I believe you may not get. Thank you for your attention. We see more of these interesting things in mathematics in our subsequent lessons.